The Man Who Didn't Wash His Dishes by Phyllis Krasilovsky, illustrated by Barbara Cooney. There once was a man who lived all alone in a little house on the edge of town. He didn't have any wife or children, so he always cooked his own supper, cleaned the house by himself, and made his own bed. One night he came home hungrier than usual, so he made himself a big, big supper. It was a very good supper. He liked to cook and could make good things to eat. But there was so much of it that he grew very, very tired by the time he'd finished. He just sat back in his chair as full as he could be and decided he'd leave the dishes to the next night. And then he would wash them all at once. But the next night he was twice as hungry, so he cooked twice as big a supper and took twice as long to eat it and was twice as tired by the time he'd finished. So he left those dishes in the sink too. Well, as the days went by, he got hungrier and hungrier and more and more tired. And so he never washed his dishes. After a while, there were so many dishes that they didn't all fit in the sink. So he began to pile them on the table. Soon the table was so full that he began to put them on his bookshelves. And when they were full, he put them just everywhere he could find an empty place. Soon he had them all piled on the floor too. In fact, the floor got to be so full of dishes that he had a hard time getting into his house at night. They were even piled against the door. Then one night he looked in his closet and found that there wasn't one clean dish left. He was hungry enough to eat out of anything, so he ate out of the soap dish from the bathroom. It was too dirty for him to use again the next night, so he used one of his ashtrays. Pretty soon he had used up all his ashtrays. Then he ate out of some clean flower pots he found down the cellar. When they were all used up, he ate out of his candy dishes and drank water from vases. He used up everything finally, even the pots he cooked his food in, and he didn't know what to do. He was so unhappy. His whole house was full of dirty dishes and dirty flower pots and dirty ashtrays and dirty candy dishes and dirty pots and a dirty soap dish. He couldn't even find his books or his alarm clock or even his bed anymore. He couldn't sit down to think because even his chairs were filled with dishes and he couldn't find the sink so he couldn't wash them. But then all of a sudden it began to rain and the man got an idea. He drove his big truck around to the side of the house and piled all the dishes and all the vases and all the flower pots and all the ashtrays and all the candy dishes and the soap dish on it and drove the truck out in the rain. The rain fell on everything and soon they were clean again. The rain had washed them. Then the man carried everything back into the house again. He put the dishes in the dish closet, the pots in the pot closet, the ashtrays on the table, the candy dishes on the shelves, the flower pots in the cellar, the vases where the vases go, and the soap dish in the bathroom. He was so very, very tired after carrying everything back and putting it away that he decided that from then on, he would always wash his dishes just as soon as he had finished his supper. The next night when he came home, he cooked his supper and when he had finished eating it, he washed the dishes and put them right away. He did this every night after that too. He is very happy now. He can find his chairs and he can find his alarm clock and he can find his bed. It is easy for him to get into his house too because there are no more dishes piled on the floor or anywhere. The End